Hello from TreeNature.com, this is Mark Josie. Today we'll be talking uh, about different types of propellants and uh, gas for air guns, air soft guns, paintball guns, etc. So anyone getting into air, uh, air guns, including the air soft guns, um, pellet guns and such, every one of you will be very familiar with CO2, green gas, propane, okay, both almost the same thing, um, XPA, and also our plumber's tape, the Teflon tape. Okay, let's put this aside first. So now I'm going to go over the different types of gas here and um, tell you about their, like why, why we use specific type, the advantage and disadvantage and so on. So let's get going. First of all, the um, most common type is not HPA, <laughs> so we'll put that aside. Um, green gas and propane, they are usually uh, the same category because you can replace green gas with propane, okay, or the, uh, the other way around. CO2 is an other category. Usually, you cannot use CO2 in green gas guns. And you cannot use green gas in CO2 guns. The reason is the pressure output from a CO2 right here. Okay, let me open this thing. You can see these 12 grams CO2. Comes in a box of 40 and is in a bulb like that. Crossman CO2. So these CO2, their output pressure when they're charged into your gun. Okay, let me take one out. Okay when they're charged into your gun, it will give the gun about um, 800 PSI pressure to up to a maximum of around uh, 1200 or 1400 PSI, okay? So depending on the temperature, the weather and such, the pressure of the CO2, like the gas going into your gun will be different. But as you can see, the lowest is usually around the uh, 850 psi range so it's, it's pretty high pressure okay the green gas and propane these things goes around um 100 to 120 uh psi so 100 to 120 compared to 800 uh to almost a thousand or um 1400 psi there's a big difference you see so this is low pressure this is high pressure so you cannot use um, low pressure in a high pressure powered gun it will turn weak you cannot use high pressure on a low power low pressure gun it will damage the guns internal okay very simple you cannot mix both together you cannot use these like interchange okay so now let me give you an example. The uh, let's talk about the uh, most common type CO two. Okay, everyone will know about CO two these days. It's so common. Here I have a nice CO two gun. Okay, let me put the CO two aside. This is the uh, Cybergun KWC brand, whatever GSG ninety two. It's a CO two powered air gun. The advantage of CO two is that it's very easy okay you pull out the magazine and it's charged like this you open up the end cap of allen key like so okay you put the co2 in maybe you have to like you want to drop a drop of um pelgan oil here put it in and it basically conceal inside the uh mag and then you just screw this back in place and there goes like tighten it up it will gas up and you can fire so that that's basically how these kind of gun work it will give you the realism it will give you a harder kick um, a little bit more power because of the high pressure and also it's easier to bring small uh, co2 bulbs okay one of these like one of these boxes Okay, 40 CO2, 12 gram CO2, uh, usually around like 20, $25 or so. But 
you see, like twenty-five dollars for forty bulbs. Each bulb, um, you can shoot maybe like two or three magazines out of these things. So it's pretty good. Uh, it's it's easy. It's quick. It's disposable, and basically, like it's a no-brainer for anyone to learn how to use CO2 guns. It's very easy. But the downside is, um, as you shoot, okay, the temperature of the CO2 bulb right here will drop because um, the, the gas depletes, right? It depletes uh, fast. So the temperature drops and uh, the pressure will lower down and your shot gets weaker. Well, same with green gas, but then CO2 is like, it's pretty much like that, okay? So it has the same kind of problem. But anyway, it's easy to get. You don't need to bring large bottles with you. And it's very compact size. And also you can store a box of CO2 inside your closet, whatever. And they're ready to go anytime. So they won't really expire or whatever. So just stock up two boxes, you know, anytime you want to shoot, screw this in. There you go. Very easy. Okay, so basically the compact size uh, and also giving you a little bit more power because of the higher pressure output um, is a very ideal thing for air gun these days. Not airsoft, air guns, okay? The 4.5 millimeters and uh, such, the pellet guns, they use these CO2 a lot. Okay. Now getting to airsoft. Airsoft is very cool um, because they're very realistic looking. This is a uh, WeTech brand high kappa, uh, baby kappa. You can see the magazine. Compared to the other one, it doesn't show the CO2 inside, but then it's, it looks very realistic like that. And also you're charging the gas from the uh, butt plate or the, the, the butt of the magazine, the bottom of, of the magazine right here. Okay, You inject the gas in and you can already fire the gun. Okay. So how do you do this? Well, first of all, you need to carry a big bottle like that. Um, yeah, it's a huge bottle, I know. So this, basically you need to, like the, these bottles, the problem is there's no pressure gauge, there's no indication on the bottle saying how much is left in there. And also when you charge it into the magazine, you do not know when to stop. You do not know, like, is it full yet? How many shots am I getting, okay? You have to take this thing, and then squeeze it into here, okay, like that. Press and charge. But when you do this, you do not know how many, like how much gas is inside. For example, I just charge up a little bit of gas and, okay, I just push it out. But you can see like, you don't know how much gas you're putting into the, the mag. You don't know if it's full or not, right? With with a CO2 bulb right here, you can, you can tell it's, it's a full cartridge. Okay. Let's pull it out of the box. This is one full 12 gram. There's no guessing, okay? Every time you want to shoot, take this, full power, guaranteed. And this one, sometimes your, your bottle is not full. Sometimes your bottle, I don't know, like defected, whatever, okay? You, you, you don't know how much gas you're putting inside. How many seconds to get a full fill? Sometimes, because that o-ring inside is bad okay for me five seconds may be enough for you maybe your gun seal is bad so five seconds doesn't give you a full fill there's no guarantee of how many shots you get out of one fill with the magazine like it's more like an estimation it's not very guaranteed also green gas is very very um bad for cold temperature any any time in the winter when you go to uh, airsoft war games, people will complain about um, uh, green gas in cold temperature, especially when it's snowing outside. It's really bad. Your gun will turn crazy bad. Like the performance is just insane. You cannot even like. It's sometimes like for example, right here you can fire. Uh, maybe one fill you can fire, say, uh, 30 shots or so. In the winter, cold days outside, maybe you get like uh, half of the amount of shots and then it will freeze up. The whole magazine, the whole thing here will get frosty and very cold. So 
because it's getting cold already when you put more gas into the magazine it's gonna it's not gonna work like when you put a new steel tool in okay you see this thing when it gets cold after it's done you put a new one in the new one is warm right so it's, it's a um, fresh start with this it's not a fresh start you squeeze it in okay it gets cold and then you squeeze it in more it gets colder <laughs> so basically what people uh, do in airsoft is they buy new magazines spare magazines so they put this aside let it warm up take the new one and inject and then put the new one in but the problem is now you got to carry these big bottles you need to carry more magazines and such and uh, therefore green gas is very popular in uh, places like Japan Asia and so on because they don't have that kind of cold temperature most of the time so yeah um, but this is like a little bit older technology <laughs> like right now co2 is more popular even for these kind of guns they do make co2 magazines so you can put the co2 in instead of using uh, green gas and green gas is super expensive but the problem is uh, like one of these cans you, you do not get a lot of shots out of one can but one of these cans uh, it's huge I know um, it's about say like average about 14 14 bucks 12 to 14 bucks about that kind of range okay so people complain about the price and then there goes the replacement propane propane uh, you can buy any kind of propane it's the same uh, same thing but the problem is propane smells like shit um, it smells like rotten eggs so there's a very disgusting odor to it it makes you uh, want to throw up it, it just gives you a headache so it's really bad but um, yeah it can be used as a replacement for green gas you can buy one of those adapters and put it here and it will give you that needle head you can just squeeze it into the gun um, same thing okay the pressure is really like similar because green gas in reality is um, propane and silicone oil so basically you squeeze silicone oil inside and inject it it's the same thing so these one bottle okay that kind of size one bottle a few dollars only compared to one bottle like this is super ripoff um, and it's about like 14 bucks or 15 bucks whatever so people start to ditch this one and then use this one now this one is a li less expensive but it is very 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 smelly it's like super stinky so you will not want to shoot these kind of shit inside your home it's really not good for indoor you need to open the windows or you need to go outside to play okay so it's really not good for health so Besides that, okay, now let's get into the high tech stuff. This is HPA. It's very, very good stuff, okay? This is purely air. Now, these things, they are um, really stored like a compressed form of air inside. And when they output, okay, the output, here's a regulator inside here. So when when the air outputs, it will be regulated to a very constant pressure usually typically it's uh, outputting about 850 uh, or 800 to 850 psi now these things uh, come in different style like different settings so you can buy regulators that is outputting um, say 1200 psi or higher okay any kind of settings specifically designed for whatever purpose so this one here is a typical tank um, the inside the pressure storing the air inside is 3000 psi okay you do not want this thing to explode it will blow off your mind I mean your head <laughs> so um, this is 3000 psi inside okay when it goes out it goes out 850 almost the same as the CO2 but CO2 will um, get colder as you shoot as it depletes so the FPS or the power will drop this one it gives constant pressure it will keep going 850 850 something like that very close okay so even if it is like non-stop pumping out air it will still give you a very constant 
uh, readings of the FPS. So this is what people use in paintball nowadays. But also in airsoft and such, it's very it's getting common right now. Now this, I know the screen is kind of uh, squishy, but you can see this is a Tiberius uh, T15 with a tank right here. You can see it. Okay, this is a tank in stock. See, HPA tank is hidden inside the stock. So now these kind of thing is very high tech. You see. You can basically get um, the tank hidden inside the stock as like part of the gun and it's no longer like those old-fashioned paintball marker of the tank right here. So it's, hit, it's integrated into the gun. It looks very realistic. So this kind of gun is uh, getting more popular. Even for airsoft right now, they're starting to uh, have a lot of HPA guns. So these kind of things is getting popular. And they give you a lot of advantage over CO2 and green gas, especially the uh, pressure. They stay constant. They work extremely well in cold temperature and winter, and they will not like drop in performance no matter how bad the temperature is that day. So HPA is really the way to go. But to fill up the HPA tank, you need to uh, either fill this up with a high pressure air compressor not your normal shop compressor okay those compressor like for shop use they will not work you need a high pressure compress high pressure air compressor that will pop up to 4500 psi or you will want to have a pcp hand pump um, you can go to amazon and search for benjamin pcp hand pump that hand pump, I recommend that hand pump if you're using a small tank like this one. Okay, this kind of tank uh, requires about 200 to 240 pumps to get it from empty to full. So um, yeah, it, it's a lot of pumping, but it's free, right? You After that, that you can keep reusing the tank, keep pumping in the air. So use up the air, pump it back in. It's very much like um, almost, almost, okay, not free, but almost free air. You can pump it up again yourself, you know, finish shooting that thing, pump the air back, there you go. <clears throat> so it's very, very um, affordable compared to buying CO2 on the time or buying green gas on the time. Um, you can also take these to a diving shop or paintball shop and they can also fill this up for you by transferring from their big tank. So anyway, um, there goes the difference between um, the different types of propellant that we are going to introduce today. So which one is better, green gas, CO2, or HPA? Personally, I will always prefer HPA, prefer, prefer, not prefer, okay? But also, I will like green gas, uh, sorry, I will like CO2 for a lot of replicas, um, air guns, because they are not going to take up a lot of space they can be hidden inside a magazine or grip so it gives you like give the pistol a more realistic look and you don't need a hose or whatever big tank attached to the gun so co2 and hpa is the king green gas is outdated it's going to be gone very soon anyway so thank you for watching remember to subscribe and like don't forget to stay tuned for our new videos. We'll be talking about other things like how to convert the uh, steel 2 guns to HPA, convert whatever to HPA, convert whatever from green gas to HPA, and so on. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.